Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited and deeply honored to be here with my friend, Audrey Blackburn. Audrey recently reached out to me and shared in our Freedom from Inflammation group how she adopted um, the steps in my five-day processed sugar swap challenge. So we're swapping out processed sugar for options that taste similar but don't inflame. And during this five-day challenge, she really took action and you adopted all of these amazing simple steps and girlfriend you guys Audrey has lost 20 pounds of inflammation she has fibromyalgia and the pain in her body is melting away she has improved energy and it was so fun because she was like I was shopping over the holidays and everyone was asking me what I do because you've lost two dress sizes so huge congratulations yeah. great big high fives and I'm Thank sending you. a huge virtual hug congratulations Audrey. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, it, it was funny because I went into the store over Christmas that I shop in and have shopped in for years. And I, the big deal for me was there's a plus side and there's a regular side, I guess you would call it for lack of a better term. And um, I moved across the store to the other side. And, yes. <laughs> and so, um. One of the sales associates walked up and said, oh, my gosh, you look great because she knows me and everything. And I said, thank you. And we got to talking and I was telling her about you and finding your site. And then some more associates come over because the store wasn't really crowded. And then before you know it, the entire staff of the store was standing around in a circle and we were talking <laughs> and they were helping me pick out jeans. <laughs> And we were oh my God. About this. So it was great. That is so fun. What a great holiday gift. Yes, it was. It was awesome. But, you know, so well, I was going to say more than anything, the whole dealing with the pain and like the pain being so much better, that was more of a gift than the weight loss. You know, totally. yeah. I always thought. Well, you know, marketing like weight loss is a very trendy thing and there's a, a multi-billion dollar industry, but my passion really is to help people reverse chronic symptoms and inflammation shows up in areas we're most susceptible to. So it looks different on each person, right? If you have fibromyalgia, pain and low energy, like those are really big symptoms mm -hmm. that show up. Same of Lyme. And sometimes you don't have a diagnosed condition, but you just have chronic fatigue or hormonal imbalance, or maybe you have skin condition or digestive disorders. Like it shows up differently for each person. And when we melt the inflammation from our body, we can begin to reverse those conditions like you experience. Right. And then the weight loss yeah. is just like an extra bonus gift. <laughs> well, and, and what you probably don't know is when I had a friend, my friend Shana introduced me to you. And when I got, you know, in your challenge and signed up at that time, I had no clue what was going on in my body. I just knew I was very sick and in extreme pain that I had never experienced in my life. And I was being sent to a rheumatologist and they were talking about lupus and um, they were talking about inflammation and I had all these blood tests coming back that were saying high inflammation and markers and things. And um, it ended up being a couple of weeks later, a diagnosis of fibromyalgia. But prior to that, and when I started the sugar swap challenge, and then I kind of, you kept the freedom from inflammation group open and people would post things and ask questions and you would answer and I asked questions and I started doing all these things prior to knowing what was wrong with me. Cause I knew like, I knew I had inflammation. Like I just knew it deep down. Yeah. yeah. That's and, amazing. Yeah. So I just, I just jumped in and started doing it and, <laughs> and started experiencing relief from my symptoms, not complete relief, but relief. And you were so wonderful because you kept saying, as you're detoxing, you may get worse. You may feel really sick. So I, I just had a peace of mind. Like I was on the right track, even though I wasn't feeling like tons better immediately. But what was most telling is when they diagnosed me with fibromyalgia, they put me on a medication 
And they said, we're going to start you. It's like a half of a dose. You'll take it for a month. Come back in and we'll give you more. Like we'll up it. And um, they said it'll take about three months before you'll see any relief at all. And I started taking the meds. And I at this point, I had been on your inflammation stuff like hardcore for three weeks. And the meds started working in three days. <laughs> I have total body chills right now. That's amazing. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, that does not surprise me at all because I'm like, as you're talking, there's so many things I want to say. You just are bringing up so much magic. So it takes typically 10 to 14 days to push inflammation from your body, from the inflammatory foods, those top inflammatory foods that we eat, like processed sugar, right? So mm -hmm. if in three weeks you were adopting the sugar swap challenge, you're increasing your water intake, you're following the steps we talk about, right? then that's giving your body opportunity to push so much of the inflammation out of your body. And when we follow anti-inflammatory eating, and now I'm not talking about adding turmeric and ginger to our diet, right? We're talking about getting rid and swapping out those top six inflammatory foods or even just one processed sugar. When we do that, then any sort of treatment that we complementary treatment that we may need, whether it's alternative, whether it's traditional, any sort of complementary treatment is going to be 10 times more effective. And I always say that it's funny that they said three weeks or three months, right? And in three days mm -hmm. that you felt the difference. That is basically 10 times, like, you know, 10 times faster you heal and you feel the improvement. That's incredible. What an amazing story. I did not know that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. And, and I, it's, you know, I have so many things like that. So um, now that was in September, right? So um, fast forward to January, I go to the doctor in like another two weeks, but I've already been back one other time. We have maintained my medicine at that super low dose. We did yes. not move it up as planned. He said we always could, you know, yeah. but I was like, I really want to leave it there. It seems to be working. I've had zero. Once I got out of pain, I've had zero pain. Now, fatigue is a little different animal, you know, yeah. it, mm -hmm. it um, comes and goes. I've had one major flare and it was back in October. So it was rather early on in my healing. Um, and it knocked me down for like an entire day. Like I was in bed and couldn't get up and thought I had the flu, but I knew what to do from being in your group and the, I couldn't eat that day at all. I would just, I felt sick. I would, I, so much was wrong, but I drank massive amounts of water and I slept all day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I got in an Epsom salt bath. Like it's not mm -hmm. just the food stuff you share. Yeah. My husband laughed because um, when I was in intense pain, when I first got in your challenge, you mentioned that cooling inflammation sometimes is as simple as taking a hot shower and following it by an extremely cold, you know, shot of water. And I'm like, oh, dear God, I hate cold, but I'm going to try this. <laughs> And I did. And it seemed to like my neck and shoulders would just have heat rolling off of them. And I could do that and feel some relief. So, you know, I was trying anything. I was so desperate. <laughs> oh, well, it's crazy because there's 60 percent of the population in, our, in the United States suffers from at least one chronic health condition. And this is Audrey, this is like statistically speaking, people who have been diagnosed. I like. I would say that statistic is much higher of people who haven't been to the doctor and been diagnosed. Yeah. And so it is, like you said, it's, it's not only food. Food is huge because of the, there's a lot of things that cause inflammation, environmental toxins, diet, mm -hmm. not enough water, stress, not enough sleep. Those are the top five, right? Yeah. But diet is something constantly putting food into our body. We have to eat to stay alive. And so it becomes typically the number one most inflammatory thing that we have control over, that we can change, right? And so during this challenge, while there's a big focus on that, like you said, I walk people through on, okay, if you are detoxing, here's how to move through it more quickly. Here's what you can do to continue to support pushing inflammation out on more of a holistic approach. And you guys, this is 
this is during my five day free challenge. This is not even like the program or coaching or anything else I offer. So I'm just thrilled that you had these results and that you were able to do this, um, and like learn this knowledge and adopt it in five days, continue with it. Right. Which is key. And yeah. to have such healing. I'm not surprised. Like I, this is a hundred percent of the people I work with when they follow the steps I lay out, if they have chronic inflammation, meaning any sort of chronic symptom, a hundred percent of the time I've had success. The trick is to follow the steps. And I know that you, you made a, a like emphasis of that on our comments thread inside our freedom from inflammation group. You said you have to take action, right? And in my book, I write about the gap between knowledge and action is where so many of us fall down. We all know what we should do for the most part. Sometimes there's some tricks and, and tips that we can apply certainly or learn about, but doing it is something different. And I'd love to hear your experience because the reason um, I I almost call it like a comfort food cleanse, right? The reason mm -hmm. I, I feel like this is a bit unique is I'm still making sure you don't feel deprived. Like that's my goal is I want to make sure you have foods that don't make you feel deprived so that you don't fall off the wagon. Um, and so I'm hoping that helps to take action, but it's mm -hmm. drink the water, wake up. Like what motivated you? What, how did you continue to take action? Like tell us, tell us the secret sauce. Well, tell us what you did. I've never been sick in my life. Like not like this. I, I mean, I've been sick or I've had health issues come up over the years, but they've always been short in duration or something like I had endometriosis for years, but I was able to manage it. Right. And, and function. This honestly took me completely, completely out of commission. Like I stopped, I, I couldn't even, I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. I couldn't, I couldn't hardly do the work. I had to talk to my clients and tell them what was going on because I felt so guilty and so bad about things because I couldn't do what I normally did. And I was grateful because all of my clients were so gracious. I mean, I didn't go into great detail, but I'm like, listen, this is serious and I don't know what's going on, you know? And um, so that gave me the space, but I'll be honest, just, I became, crazy about fierce self-care. So it was massages and chiropractor. I already went to the chiropractor, but massage, I found a healing massage therapist who I have an appointment with today. I see her once a month. That is like amazing. Um, she works all of these different therapies and modalities into the massage. Um, I do meditation I, I take Epsom salt baths when I'm feeling weird because weird for me means a flare is coming. Um, and last night I was in an Epsom salt soak in the tub doing meditation. <laughs> I mean, it's, Me the, too. yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like you said, food is huge and it is, it's huge what we put in our bodies, but at some point we've got to get all the other toxic mess out and the food is, is, a big chunk of that, but I picked up on that. And that's what kept me going was I want to feel better. This was not about weight loss. This was like, I just simply want to feel better. But what resulted is where I lost weight was in all the places I wanted to lose weight that I'd never been able to before. I lost like all my friends know they're like, oh my God, you look so different. I've lost so much weight in my neck, um, my mm -hmm. stomach, my hips, and my thighs, and in my mm -hmm. arms, because my arms are, have gotten big over the years. And I told my husband, I said, when I lost the weight, it was like the pain that had been in my body with it went with it, you know, yeah. and people, if you don't experience it, you don't understand. But for me, I mean... I had to stop drinking alcohol. I love wine. <laughs> like I'd love to have a glass of wine at dinner. And yeah. I don't do that anymore because I realized how toxic it was to my body. But at Christmas, I had a glass of wine and did not have any ill effects from it because I've been doing the work. 
and I had a cookie and I had a piece of fudge over Christmas and none of those things derailed me. Um, be, and, and what kept me on track is I thought I want to keep feeling this good. Right. Yes. I don't want to go back to the way I felt before. Um, and I know that everybody doesn't have that kind of motivator because they're like, yeah, well, I don't have a chronic disease or whatever. Well, the sugar thing, I think, hands down, is the biggest one. Like gluten and dairy, I've drastically reduced, especially gluten. Um, I've become very gluten free with a lot of things. But um, and I've really cut down the dairy to like yogurt and a little bit of cheese. But um, the sugar was huge. And I'm sorry if you hear a snoring dog. <laughs> I have and, and I have a in the back. We've got two dogs. <laughs> Mine's howling in the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. I don't hear it. That is incredible. And it is true. Processed sugar is the number one most inflammatory thing, along with alcohol, that we can put into our body. So it's so many times people think gluten free, dairy free, but with sugar. And I and I wonder if we forget about it or if it's just fear of taking it out because it's in everything. It's highly addictive. So when mm -hmm. we can swap it out with pure honey or maple syrup or like some of these non-inflammatory options and make amazing things like cookies and cakes and muffins and pizza, anti-inflammatory style, like how fun is that, right? And you feel better. But yeah, I want. I, oh, go ahead, Audrey. Well, I was just going to say, I, I will tell people like having swaps available is huge because um, my husband took this on like completely, like for the whole household, because he, he does the cooking now. I used to do it all and now I've handed it over to him. And um, he started shopping for gluten free and dairy free and sugar free, like he educated himself. My 10 year old, who is like the picture of health and didn't necessarily need this, jumped on the bandwagon and said, I want to eat like you. So the whole family, we've changed our meals. I mean, we let her have some sugar stuff, you know, because we're not going to completely like deprive her or anything. But I don't think she feels deprived, you know. Um, and oh I, my god, I, I love think you. The difference in her <laughs> and her attitude, like, I, yes. and the other thing that I would challenge people with the sugar swap. I've spent my entire life with this underlying anger and didn't know why. And when I've quit sugar, the anger's gone. <laughs> like, who would think you'd be angry because you eat sugar? <laughs> Most people would say, no, I'm angry because I don't have sugar, right? But it, no. It is amazing. Um, my mom says, Audrey, you have an enlightened connection to your body. May we all experience that miracle. Good for you. <laughs> I love it. So true. You really do. And to make this connection with everyone, okay, um, let me talk about the anger and then I want to address your daughter and your family because that is so beautiful and it's actually what my next book, The Clean Eating Kid, is all about. You are like, I'm like, come come work with me. Let's do this together. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting, the science behind the anger. So our large intestine and our liver are the largest producers of neurotransmitters in our body. Neurotransmitters are sent to our brain and they're what help us think clearly, feel grounded, and they also are directly correlated to the hormone production in our brain. Mm -hmm. And so if, if we're processing, okay, the, the liver's number one job is to process toxins and inflammation. And if we have the typical diet that many of us have, right, which is full of inflammatory foods, um, environmental toxins, all of this, then the liver's constantly in overdrive, especially in today's mm -hmm. modern day society. We're so busy. And so the liver's constantly in overdrive and it never gets to the secondary job, which is to create those neurotransmitters. So our same thing with the large intestine. If we're eating foods and drinking alcohol or soda or things that are really inflammatory, right? It's having to like soak in a pool of toxins and it also compromises the ability for the large intestine to create those neurotransmitters. That makes it so that we have our emotions become unregulated. So it's really easy to feel angry, chronic anxiety, chronic depression are very common 
when uh, when we're inflamed in the body for those reasons. So we take out the number one most inflammatory thing, processed sugar. We swap it out with options that taste similar, but don't inflame. So we're now we're not deprived, right? And right. all of a sudden, the liver opens up and has all this space to create neurotransmitters. So not only does our anger go away, our anxiety, our depression, whatever kind of chronic and mental emotional condition we're experiencing, does that go away? But we also begin to stabilize our hormones, which I, our hormones are connected like a domino effect. So when one is off, all of them start to get off, right? So that helps to stabilize our hormones, also improving our overall sense of mood and well-being. Um, you, you are not alone. I actually have a testimonial written by um, a man, Eric Bressler, who wrote all about how he actually adopted this way of eating um, with me because he had a herniated disc and was going to have to have surgery. Mm -hmm. And because inflammation goes to the areas we're most susceptible to, the inflammation was going to his, his herniated disc. As soon as he took the inflammation out, the pain went away, just like you're experiencing, right, with the fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. He didn't yep. have to have surgery said the magic of everything was that his anger went away. Last thing he was expecting. The so, same with so. me. Same with yeah. me. I, I never expected some of the changes that happen. And, and so I tell people, just, just try it. Try it for yeah. you know, a couple of weeks, five days. Start with the five-day challenge. Then move. Like That's what I did. I did the five-day challenge, and I was kind of like probably 75% involved like you know i i tried the different things i started out slow i just simply stopped eating cupcakes and junk and you know anything that was junk i don't drink sodas because i cut those out several years ago so i was like okay what am i eating that's just bad and then i i got a little more involved like i said the gluten and the dairy and and then I kept hearing things like Epsom salt baths and, you know, the, the cold water plunge stuff that, you know, helps with the body. And my doctor's big thing, and I'm sure everybody's heard this stress relief. I was told I had to remove stress because that would make my condition worse. And I'm like, how do you do that in today's environment? And so yeah. it's just, there's so much that I've benefited from. And I just, I tell everybody, I've told so many people I run into when they say, oh, you look so good. What are you doing? And I'm like, let me tell you about Jenny. Oh, I <laughs> love you. The free stuff. Go see her. <laughs> yes, come get in the free stuff. Well, it's all you guys. Those of you who don't know me, I um, survived a near death experience also a few years ago. I had chronic Lyme. I had four strains of Lyme. I had a parasite infection so severe it put holes in my organs, ate away my endocrine glands, and then I ended up with a very rare um, virus that causes leukemia, which was active in my body. And luckily, I never got the leukemia, but my body was under um, sabotage, right? And I was um, bedridden for the greater part of a couple of years while I had a two-year-old and a four, five-year-old. And um, it was a really scary time. Like I was holding on for dear life. And it was because I maintained this way of eating. It was because it wasn't just a challenge. Like Audrey is like, I continue eating this way. It's maintaining this way of eating, not just doing a cleanse, right? Mm -hmm. That is a huge part of what to help save my life because there was no room. I mean, there literally was, I would be, I was poisoned. My body, my organs were going into um, complete shutdown because of the, the uh, neurotrans, not neurotransmitters. I wish the neurotoxins that are released when the parasites and Lyme die, they release so many neurotoxins. It's like drinking a gallon of bleach. And so my organs, cause they were structurally compromised and all this um, toxins were flooding my body. I was going into organ shutdown. And so there was no room for any extra toxins or inflammation. Like if I had had a glass of wine, honestly, that would have been like the end of me. Or if I had had processed sugar in my diet or, you know, even the sneaky stuff, the processed sugar that's sneaky in foods that we think would be healthy. Like I mm -hmm. would not be here today. So I am so passionate about getting my message out. And whether you do the five day challenge or you read my book, piece of cake, the secret to an anti-inflammatory diet, or sign up for my have it all group coaching program, like however you want to do it, 
just take action like Audrey did, you guys. Take action, adopt these simple steps. Your world will be transformed. And Audrey, when you were talking about like the anger went away and your family, your husband is now eating this way and then your daughter is eating this way. Like, and you, you said like, she doesn't need it, but you sense this overall like improvement in her mood and, and in her attitude, right? Like her learning about this now is giving such prevention for something that could potentially show up later in life like it did for me. And we just don't know, right? So you're mm -hmm. educating her. You're stepping into your, I'm like right now. You're <laughs> stepping into the, the truest, highest, most beautiful form of yourself. And you're modeling that for your family. Like that is such an incredible gift. And these are what I call magic. I often say like, when you eat this way, magic shows up in your life. And what does that look like? That looks like the anger goes away, the anxiety goes away, the fam your family adopts it. That looks like, you know, when you said the pain, when you were losing the weight, you felt like the pain was melting away with your weight. That's because our fat stores our toxins in, mm -hmm. in the fat pockets. It's a survival mechanism to keep the toxins as far away. The same thing happened to me when I was really sick. I gained a bunch of weight with all the neurotoxins. My body was like, push this away from the organs. So it creates fat reservoirs to store the toxins in. It's an amazing, beautiful survival mechanism. And mm -hmm. as you melt the toxins away, the fat's no longer needed. So cool. It, it is. It, it, I, the thing that I noticed is I lost more inches than wow. weight. And so, yeah. I mean, like 20 pounds for me should not have been two, two sizes. I've lost weight in the past. Um, I did like Weight Watchers for years. I can mention them because it's me. Um, <laughs> I did their program, which is great. And, you know, it, it was great for me at the time. And I had never done any kind of weight loss. And I lost 55 pounds in eight months. But the first 20 pounds did not change me to sizes. And I didn't have the inches and shrunk as much as I did. I, I keep telling my husband, I'm like, even now I haven't lost any weight in over a month, but I keep losing inches. Yeah. You know, yes. because I, I'm still eating good. Like I said, I slip up. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie and tell people like I do this perfect every single day, but I, I try not to have a day where the whole day's shot. Right. Just because you eat a cookie doesn't mean you have to go binge eat the rest of the day. That's huge because it's it's so often what we tell us, oh, I messed up. So I might as well just eat right. another cookie or have a glass of wine or have this mac and cheese or whatever, exactly. right? Like go eat those, but have them anti-inflammatory style. Don't don't continue eating the inflammatory. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and you know, the other thing is play around with food. That's what we had to do. Like I think. When we were doing the challenge, you were mentioning these, um, you were showing a video where your kids, what their snack drawer looked like. You were like these bars, because I love like granola bars and stuff. And so I went out and bought some of the bars that you suggested that were clean. And I remember I came back and I said, Jenny, I hate them. <laughs> They're so nasty. Just keep trying. You'll find one you like. And, and it might be something different you gave. And that was, I have to tell people that, that might not know you. That was the biggest thing for me. You were so accessible in that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I don't mean like every five minutes you were online, but I'm just saying, you know, you might show up every couple of days in the group. And if somebody had asked a question about inflammation or is this food okay you tried to answer it and that's huge because that's giving lots of guidance just like a video or anything else because we've got to put this into practice and sometimes that's hard it's really important for me to help people apply and take action rather than give theoretical um, advice or information because like I said, I'm I'm here to help people. I I know what it's like to be really really sick, and I want to help any person I possibly can to move away from chronic illness 
and disease or chronic symptoms. And you guys, if you're listening to like even behavioral, my son had a sensory condition that improved so much through this diet, ADD, ADHD, like any sort of chronic symptom. But if we don't, if I'm not there to support you, if, if you, if you don't, if you don't show up to support yourself, right. If I don't make this in a way so that you can take action and it looks yummy and you're excited, mm -hmm. then what's the, there's, there's no point. Right. And we're all just wasting. Well, time, so. and, and you have to keep going. Like you said, the action, I had to keep checking out bars and trying different flavors. Like you had said, the Laura bars. And the first one I tried because I love chocolate chips. I tried the chocolate chip cookie dough thinking, oh, you know, maybe this is good. I hated it. I still do. But guess what? I love coconut cream pie, Laura bars, which I would never eat coconut cream pie in like in my life. But that bar is like dessert for me when I'm, you know, craving something. <laughs> so Bravo. it's all about swaps, right? Like you yeah. said, if you've got things available that when you want that cupcake, this morning I was craving sugar so bad. I went and filled a bowl full of blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, and grapes, you know, and I'm like, just sat down and ate them because I'm like, well, it's sugar, but it's natural. <laughs> you know, it's natural. natural. Sugar. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. And just like a quick tip, you said that last night you were feeling a little bit off. So you took an Epsom salt bath. When we're yep. detoxing, and you probably know this already, Audrey, but when we detox, right, the cravings really can can take a hold. So having yep. things prepared, like it's so amazing that you had that in your refrigerator and you're like, I can just go grab this because if we don't have anything in our refrigerator or in our house, if like I've driven to the nearest gas station to buy a Twix bar before I would go buy anything else. Like we will, we will satisfy that craving somehow, right? So yep. having clean in your house is amazing. Uh, well, Audrey, I just have to thank you so much for coming on. You know, the other thing that I want to share is sometimes when we have a chronic health condition, there can be like the shame. Like we, we feel like, oh, I shouldn't share this or something's wrong with me. I'm defected. Like there's this shame piece. And that was really big in my journey. Um, and I, I really want to honor you for showing up and sharing and inspiring. And, you know, if, if over 60 percent of the population has a chronic health condition, like we all need to voice our, what's working and how we're healing and how we can rise up so that we can help one another. So I just really want to honor you for that. And thank you. Thank you. I I went through that, too. I, I wanted to hide. And um, in September, when I was dealing with the diagnosis, which I was not happy with, um, I, I didn't tell anybody for other than my husband for weeks because I didn't want anybody to know. And then I told a small group of people. And now it's like I'll tell the stranger in the grocery store because I'm not in a bad place with it anymore. And I think probably that's where a lot of our shame comes from when we're in a really bad place and we're in pain and and we don't see an end to it. Um, it, it feels shameful. It feels hurtful and, and it feels too raw to talk about. Um, but I just figured, you know, what I say, somebody might not like it. It might not resonate with them, but there might be somebody over there that's going, oh, dear God, I'm so glad she talked about this because I needed it. So, you know, it's it's all good to share. It's so true. Um, I, my favorite quote we can end on is Gandhi when he says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Right. And, and I like to say, be the change you wish to see in your family. Like when you show up to be the best version of yourself, it is that beautiful ripple effect. And part of that is sharing and inspiring and, and just, you know, letting people know there's hope because when we, when you are dealing with a chronic illness or a chronic condition and it's going on for months and months or years and years and you can't get a diagnosis and you don't know what's wrong and you feel like you're dying and your whole life stops because you don't have the energy to do your career or help your kids or you don't have the confidence to go out and be social. Like it really impacts our lives in so many ways. Right. Yeah. And, and so we can feel hopeless. We can feel like our entire world is crumbling underneath us. And so when we can share that there is hope and that there's a way and it's not hard and it can taste good, right? Like that's so fun. That's so yeah. amazing. That's a huge, big joy that this work brings to me for sure. 
Well, Audrey, I am so grateful. I'm just, I'm so grateful that you spoke up because I didn't know this happened until like last <laughs> week. Audrey's like, by the way, this is what, this is what happened in the apps. So yeah. excited to hear about it. So thank you. Thank you. I wish you the very best. And I know I'm going to see you in our next five day challenge, which yes. everyone listening, it begins. The next challenge begins. I'm like, what month are we in? January 16th. So you can sign or, or no, January 12th. Six days from now, you can yeah. sign up um, at jennycarhealth.com, www.jennycarrhealth.com. The very top of the website, there's a little green button that says sign up for the five day challenge. So go there, sign up, and wait for your life to be transformed, just like Audrey's. I shouldn't say wait, take action to transform your life, just like Audrey's. Thank you, sweetness. And I will see you inside our free inflammation group. All right. Sounds great. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye.